welcome back to another video from Zendry's Home Style Cooking. So today I'll be showing you how I prepare my delicious reggae shrimp. This is so quick and easy. The ingredients are simple. You're going to enjoy this recipe. So to start it off, I have my shrimp here and this is 16 ounces of shrimp or you'll see one pound of shrimp. It's already deveen. I leave my tail on but you don't have to use the tail. You don't have to leave the tail on. You can just remove it if you choose. Okay. And I've already washed it with just a little bit of vinegar as well as some lime juice. All right. So we also have some Old Bay seasoning here. I have my garlic and herb blend here. Minced onion, ground black pepper, red pepper flakes, as well as about a teaspoon of pink salt, a tablespoon of my green blend. So I have my vegetables here, red, green, and yellow bell pepper. I have some white onion, carrot, a small carrot, thyme, scotch bonnet pepper, roughly chopped garlic, and some spring onion. So I'm going to go ahead and start by adding some olive oil, to my shrimp just a little bit okay going in i will list all the current measurement down below for all the seasoning just going to add my old bay season we don't want it to overpower this um, shrimp because remember the shrimp has its own taste already so you don't need to add a lot just red pepper flakes and this is this is totally optional you don't have to use it you can just use the black pepper if you choose right. add in my corner going in with my garlic and my herb seasoning Add in my salt. Add in my green season. So that. Going in with some pimento berries as well. Alright, so that's good. And one more thing that I will be adding, just to add a little bit of color to my shrimp, some paprika. All right, just a little bit. Right. That should be good. So our shrimp is looking nice and beautiful as you can see i'm just going to add some cling wrap to it and put it to marinate for 10 to 15 minutes and then we can start preparing our shrimp so guys my shrimp is finished marinating so i'm just going to go ahead and start stir frying my vegetables to my pot i will be adding some olive oil you could use whichever oil you choose i'm just using olive oil for mine today All right so that should be good also my stove is on medium so i'm just going to add my garlic to infuse some flavor in my oil by turning your stove on medium to low your garlic will not burn okay so you can go ahead and add it at this point So I'm now going in with my vegetables at this point, adding my carrots, onion, my bell pepper. I'm just going to be adding everything. So we're going to saute the vegetables for about a minute or two. I don't want to overcook my vegetables and you know shrimp cook very quickly so the shrimp is going to take at least three minutes before it's finished cooking all right so at this point i'm going in with my shrimp okay 
You could add the shrimp earlier, but I like to add my shrimp after adding my vegetables. I remember the shrimp cook very quickly. Okay. So chop that up. You know, once the shrimp is cooked, once you're seeing them looking nice and pink, that means your shrimp is ready. So as you can see guys, my shrimp is almost ready. So I'm just gonna turn it again. And I'm just going in with some fish and meat sauce. Just a little bit. So that's about a teaspoon. As well as be adding, as well I will be adding some jerk sauce. Just a little to give it a little bit of kick. Right. This again. So there you have it guys, my shrimp is all finished. Oh my goodness, it smells so amazing guys. And it tastes delicious. Trust me, you're gonna enjoy this recipe. Turn off my flame and there you have it again, my delicious reggae shrimp. Hey guys, my delicious reggae shrimp. Oh my goodness, this tastes so, so delicious. And it just takes five minutes to prepare you see how quick and easy it was and i'm telling you it is super super delicious so go ahead and try out this recipe and let me know how do you like it okay so once again i hope you did enjoy today's video and if you did enjoy it guys don't forget to give me a big thumbs up remember to share the video with your friends and your family as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet subscribe and be a part of the family also follow me on all my social media pages on Instagram it's Zendry underscore home underscore style underscore cooking as well as on Facebook it's Zendry's home style cooking. So until I come your way again with something super awesome delicious from my kitchen to yours take care guys and enjoy. Bye! I see you in the next one.